You know, I really did plan on having gameplay for today's video, but uh, the black fire but I was progressing, that junk wiped, so uh, they're gonna have to do with, deal with more floating noble for the foreseeable future. I mean, like, while you're here, you might as well, like, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, because that'd be pretty cool. Anyways, on to the video. If y'all have been living under a rock in the community, basically the YBA YouTuber Eclipse came into the Deep Oaken community and made a couple of videos kind of addressing a lot of the big problems for new players in the game. In my opinion, these videos were pretty cool, you know, he touched on some good points, and I, I kind of agree with him on a lot of it. The main thing he mentioned that I agree with was Trial of One. Tell me why Trial of One is like locked up in like Timbuktu or something, you have to like scrounge like the, the ancient corners of the map to find that junk. Them making that an origin last update was just, was just needed in my opinion. Y'all let me know in the comments how many times you had to drive back to like Minotaurus after failing trial like initially, because I know how to drag my sorry ass back like at least 15 times when I was unlocking it. I think with the culture of competitive gaming definitely comes like a culture of gatekeeping, which Eclipse like kind of touched on in this video. It's like people seem to think because they experience some crazy hardship in their time playing the game that everyone needs to experience that as some rite of passage, which like, no, that would be stupid. <laughs> Do you want every person to experience day one deep Woken? Because I know I don't. No one would play the game then. I think people tend to look at like old deep Woken with like some rose tinted nostalgia glasses. I can't even lie that that shit was fire. Like experiencing that shit like for the first time with everybody was a cool ass experience but the thing is the game has changed and like if if eclipse was dropped into day one deep woken he would have released a different video i promise you that dog the main thing that eclipse touched on however that i want to get to is void walkers now void walker sucks for like a majority of reasons the first being that prior to the yesterday's update it required 15 freshy grips to unlock thankfully they reduced it to five but like I think I just need to give y'all an idea of how bad that actually was. The 15 number, I mean. People, like, these grips were so stupid to get that people in, like, the trading Discord were, like, making services for these grips. I'm not a game dev, so I don't really know, but, like, I feel like if there's a whole market forming around a service to, like, bypass a gameplay mechanic that everyone kind of already knows is bullshit, then, like, it's probably a problem. There's also the problem that, like, Voidwalker progression is just, like, stupidly tedious. Voidwalker is literally the only progression style where your EXP can just get up and leave the server. <laughs> like, imagine you're deep bounding and, like, the mobs you're fighting, you say, I'm gonna haul at you and just, like, peace out. I don't even gotta tell you why that would be stupid. Like, a progression style where, like, your EXP depends on whether or not your opponent's down to run the ones is just, like, is ridiculous. It's also just, that doesn't account for the fact that people will jump you as a Voidwalker for no reason. Not to mention that the loot just isn't that great, which kind of brings me to my next concern for Voidwalker. Eclipse essentially talked to Archmage and mentioned a, a style of Voidwalker to where, like, the stakes are lower. Like, you kind of, like, knock the guy, but you don't actually kill him. So, like, the guy doesn't go to depths, and you just go back to the Void Heart, you collect your loot, and everyone's happy. Right? I think this idea is good in theory, because essentially, it basically sort of, like, lowers the stakes of Voidwalking to where maybe a player would be like, Okay, I know I'm not gonna like die or get sent to depths, so maybe I will run the ones and let this guy maybe get some EXP. But the main thing about Void Walkers is that skilled Void Walkers aren't jumping freshies. If you're jumping freshies and you kill them, their loot isn't worthwhile. Obviously, you go to the Void Heart, you open up your chest from the from the system that that they're suggesting, and boom, you get your loot. That's it. The thing is, though, like good Void Walkers will jump players like several levels higher than them, and if you if you like essentially just hard diff this player, and you just open your chest and you're given like a central dirk that just feels bad when you could have gripped the guy and gotten like some deep gems or something not to mention that like some of these ducking niggas like it's just in their dna like they just run no matter what there could be literally no stakes to the fight whatsoever and these people will still hit the dash like they're bugs bunny bro like they're roadrunner my proposition is first to like make void walker spawns usable because like some of these are just simply unacceptable and second is to add like like a scaler to void walker loot if you if you fight a lower level Sure, give me this, give me the central dirt, give me the, the leather pauldrons, right? But if I'm out here boxing and squabbling with like special grade ops, like I'm talking five star, four star bounties, I should at least, at the very least, be allowed to get a depth chest, dog. Cause that's that's low key a squabble that my the odds are not in my favor there. Like if I'm a power eight, moving the demonics required the body of power eighteen, I deserve to get some nice loot, bro. And I feel like the update that these guys are suggesting just doesn't open up space for that. I don't know, y'all. I'm just rambling. I'm beginning to feel like a yap god, but uh, that's really it for today. That's all I had to say. So uh, peace out. Thank you.
like some subscribe uh comment all that good stuff peace